What's up y'all? My name is Angel. Welcome to the channel. This is a vlogging channel slash behind the scenes type of content. So today I'm going to be linking up with my boy Saint. And we're going to be headed out to Wisconsin where we're going to go shoot some questionnaires. See how the vibes are looking at Summerfest. Summerfest in Wisconsin comes every summer and we decided to go do some content over there. So we went around, asked people questions, see what the vibe was like, see if next year we might just go in. We didn't get a chance to go in this year, <clears throat> but it is what it is. Uh, we did have a good time. We got, we learned a little bit about Summerfest. I hope we plan to put you guys on. So when you do go, you already know what's up. You already know where to go, you the spots, and just discovering Milwaukee a little bit. So I'm gonna take y'all behind the scenes behind, uh, for the shoot. My boy Sam was the one rocking the mic today while I was messing with the settings of this camera. So I just recently got it. So I'm shooting on the A7 IV for those that are wondering uh, what, what the camera is. And <laughs> mainly I was trying to get some cinematic shots and just take a little good view of Summerfest. Anyways. Hope y'all enjoy it. Hope y'all like the content and be here for some more. Like and subscribe. Thanks. How's it going, guys? It's your boy Saint out here in Summerfest, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're going to see how live it is, how the people are reacting to it. Stay tuned. Ready for the next question. How's it going, guys? My boy right here, Alex, and it's Blanche. Blanche. My name is Saint, and I'm here today doing vlogs and Summerfest in Wisconsin. So we got a few questions out here that we want to hear from the Wisconsin people, see how they're loving the Summerfest, and so forth and so forth. So we're gonna start off with the first question. What brings you guys out here for Summerfest this year? Uh, Young Gravy and Zach Bryan. Oh, mm -hmm. big ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, you looking like, uh, I came here for the food. I don't know about Zach and everybody. Okay, okay. So that's amazing that you came here to see, you know, the uh, performance, see the great food that we offer out here. What else are you anticipating Summerfest to be different about this year that they did the last year and so forth? I've never been to Summerfest before. I'm from California, so I'm just visiting. Yeah, and she's my girlfriend. I'm from Milwaukee, so like we used to come all the time as a kid, so I'm giving her like their first time experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Last question. What can you tell her about Milwaukee that the whole world doesn't know? It's like almost a secret sauce. Yeah. What information can you give out to the people? Uh, it's definitely like a cool little spot. Like in the summertime, like it's definitely one of my favorite spots to come to. Like there's, you can do anything you want, you know, like, and it's like, everyone's nice, good homey feel. So like it's a cool city to be in for sure. What restaurant would you uh, offer the first stop to be at? I would say like the public market and the third ward's a good spot to go. Um, if you're looking for more of like a, like a downtown vibe, like the Deer District would be cool. And then like Onesto's if you're like a couple, I'd say. That works out perfect. I just want to thank you again. Thank you so much. You two have an awesome day in Summerfest. Thank you. Yo, how's it going guys? It's your boy Saint. I'm out here in Milwaukee. We're living good at our Summerfest. I got my boy right here. What's your name, man? Playboy Cam. Playboy Kim, you already know. Don't fuck with the name. Don't even doubt the name. You know how heavy he rocking. So we asking some questions out here. I'm going to give you three questions. So we're going to just keep it real, keep it a buck. All right. Have you been staying in Milwaukee for a long time? Yes. What do you think about Milwaukee and the tax dollars they're putting on the stadium and everything going towards it? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, it's great, you know, it's great for the fans, you know, it's great for the uh, uh, Milwaukee, you know, we a small market though, but, you know, it's pretty cool though. You don't think the tax dollars could have went somewhere else, like probably the schooling, at least, you know, the kids out there that need the money, or even the jobs out there? Uh, it could have went to the, I say it could have went to the kids who need it type of stuff, but, you know, but people still enjoy it, so I feel like it is what it is, you know, like, I don't got to, to, to I don't, can't say, to, I don't explain okay, too okay, much. Okay, okay, okay. So what do you do out here, man? You out here in Summerfest, you living it up. What you come out here to feeling like? Uh, I came out to have fun and hustle, you know, make money type stuff and have fun at the same time and go in and enjoy myself. I feel you on that just because, you know, we're from Chicago, I'm from the west side, so I know a bunch of kids out there trying to make money for themselves. A lot of people just stay at home and just watch everything pass by them. How long you been doing this hustle thing for? 
I've been doing this hustle at Summerfest for like four or five years. I used to be hustling at the Bradley Center, State Fair. Okay. If you can learn any new skill instantly, what would it be and why? If I had to learn any new skill, I'd probably learn how to dance. So, I, you know, I like dancing, though, but I want to get better at it, you know. But, you know, dancing is cool, it's fun, and it's entertaining. So, it's something, and it's something new to learn. What's the most exciting or adventurous thing you've ever done in your lifetime right now that you could share to the world? No. You know, what I did was, you know, enjoy life, you know, like learn new stuff, you know. I don't hang around a big crowd, I hang by myself. And, you know, I really enjoy hanging by myself. So, you know, just having fun, enjoying stuff, and learning stuff new. I feel you on that, brother. I'm going to keep on wishing you luck on this hustle because I already see you in your eyes. We're right out here in Milwaukee. We're out here in Summerfest. They're doing it big this year. We're loving it. A lot of people are coming over, helping us with our vlogs and, you know, spreading the good word out here. So let's get to it. Can I get the names of these two lovely ladies? Kat. Kat. Ariana. Ariana. That's very beautiful. First question as many. What brings you two out here for Summerfest? Should I go first? Yeah. Um, well, I'm visiting my girlfriend, Kat, and today there is an artist playing that I really like, Runaway June, their country band, and I actually saw them, and they gave me their guitar pick, which is super and cool. This is the funnest concert, the most fun concert I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. It was really stellar, it's and so cool. we danced, we danced our hearts We did a lot of square now. dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. And second question, what is a food that you recommend inside of Summerfest that everybody needs to try out, especially if this is their first time coming out here in Milwaukee? Definitely the easiest food. It's not an actual food. It's going to be the Hawaiian ice because yes. the water here is very overpriced. It's $5.25, but you can get a giant bucket of Hawaiian ice for $5. Very true. Mm -hmm. As a Milwaukeean, she knows what she's talking mm -hmm. about, and we recommend it. It's a Milwaukeean <laughs> from Buffalo, New York. I know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's spreading around the world. And third of the most important thing, what are what do you recommend that everybody needs to experience and have a great time when they come out to Summerfest? Don't worry about where you are in relation to the stage. Just dance, have a good time, and explore. Find new music and literally just let loose and have a great time. And if you're over 21, get a busy. Twelve. And I love this because we always have this secret question at the end of our third question. What is one piece of advice that you could give out to the world that hasn't been heard of or talked to a lot? That's a good question. And it could be a personal, something that needs to be spoken out to the world as well. Um, one thing I would say, very niche, but remember that everyone is, I mean, everyone knows this, remember that everyone is dealing with their own thing, everyone is going through something. The most silent mental health issue that I think of is OCD. Remember that pe there are people out there who struggle every day with mental illness and, yes. And support each other. That's the biggest thing. Mine isn't as sweet, but I'd say don't <laughs> be afraid to spend a lot of money on a pair of good shoes. You know, I think every single day that you wear shoes is a dollar. So if you yeah. buy $500 shoes, just wear them 500 times. Woo, cowboy boots. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. <laughs> I love it. I wish you two the most happiness and always let your angels guide you at the right place, always at the right time. My name is Saint and I have Cat. Ariana. And you guys have a lovely day, all right? Thank you, gals. Thank you. Thank you. We got the legend right here. What's your name, brother? EP the Hustler. All right, yeah. bet, bet. You got your own YouTube and everything? Yeah, Hustle Baby ENT. Okay, okay. So we came out here in Summerfest to ask those specific questions. You already see how he's rocking. He's out here hustling, getting his thing on. You guys make sure you follow, subscribe, do the whole nine yards because it helps the community and it helps you to learn more things outside the world. So the first questions that I'm going to lay out is what brings you out in Summerfest, man? To come out here and network with the people and inspire them by using my talent. That is what's up. Second question, anything that you could say about Wisconsin Summerfest, what could you say is something remarkable that no other state could have out here? 
the people come together. We had so much fun. The security make sure everybody's safe. You know what I mean? They ain't um they ain't harassing entrepreneurs out here. Like get off the premises. Everybody making money and it's just super duper fun. You can go in there and see different entertainment. And um you can come and see my guy right here right now with his podcast. It's more even lit. You already know. And last question out of all of them, if you could give any advice to anybody out there, I already see that you're a hustler. What can you say the one thing that everybody needs to do if they're trying to pursue their career or their dreams? Stop laying in the bed so much and making excuses. Get the fuck up and go out there and, 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 and show people that you can do anything that you put your mind into. If you believe in yourself, you will become. Stop making excuses and go out there and sell your merch. Stop, stop. Stop crying. Stop trying to make sad stories. Go out there. Get the again. Let those people know your name one more time. EP, I'm back again because she's on my mind. Packers fan. Woo! I'm with the lovely lady right here. What is your name, ma'am? Spring. Spring, you already know how it is. Spring is coming around the corner, but she's out here in summer. So we just got three questions today. Very simple about Summerfest, so the world can know what Wisconsin has to offer out here. First question as many, what brings you out here in Summerfest, ma'am? What brings me out here is, um, well, I'm a Wisconsinite and I've never missed the first day of Summerfest in all of my life. So I'm a fest head. So the music, because um, if you come down here and if you don't know any music, you'll learn about a whole bunch of music down here. So what brings me down here is the food, the fun, the music, and the people. I love it. I love it. Second question. Yes. What is one thing you go offer out here in Summerfest that everybody needs to go to when they need to grab a bite to eat? A bite to eat down here at Summerfest, that's really hard to say because everything is so good down here. But for me personally, on the Summerfest grounds would probably be sub sandwiches. I love the sub sandwiches, but, but we have to give our entrepreneurs out of the Summerfest grounds a nice little shout out too, because they have some great eats too. And I support them too. Okay, what restaurant would you say? I know there's a lot of them, but what is the one that, that everybody needs to go to, or at least the street they need to go down to to make sure they get the right type of food? Well, there's food all around here on the Summerfest grounds, which is absolutely wonderful. But if you want some great street eats, we're gonna walk right down on Chicago Road right here and everybody's got some really good stuff. And you will learn a lot of history because a lot of those folks that's been out there, they have a lot of history about Summerfest, about whom they came down here with, family fun and things like that. They have their kids out there with picnic benches and things like that. So I would certainly do something like that. And then come in and then in explore maybe some samples of food and stuff like that. That's what I would do. And that's beautiful, and especially the last question. As always, what could you give somebody a great advice that the whole world hasn't heard or even experienced in their lifetime? For Summerfest grounds? In general. Okay, well, first of all, I would certainly look at all the... Um, when you come down here, look through the book and see what kind of um, offerings that they have uh, come in for free. Because it's like super cool stuff that you can come down, three cans of food, uh, free or used books. You can come down there for that. You can come down with a, a t-shirt on from your college alma mater. You can come down on all kinds of things to have a free, wonderful time down here. And I mean, you really can't complain. I mean, and plus you can hear music that you probably have never heard before and you'll probably come back for it too. That's the first time I heard since I'm out here in Wisconsin. Thank you, Spring, for all the advice and everything that you gave. I felt the energy. Yeah. For the next one, guys, we're going to come right back. Sir. Joey. Joey, it's Joey. nice to meet you, Joey. Nice to meet you too. Saint, you said? Saint. Yes, Saint. Nice to meet you, Saint. Thank you, thank you. So we got three easy questions for you, very easy, very fast. All right. The first question, what brings you out here to Summerfest? My girl grew up in Colorado. She's never been here before. Never. So we got to show her the ropes, man. Okay. She, yeah, her first time. I, you know, I've, I know these grounds, but she, you know, got to show her what's yeah. good with Summerfest and what Milwaukee yeah. has to offer, my guy. Yeah. So, yeah. What is one thing you got to say? 
day, especially since you showed her a go-to food when you walk into Summerfest a or go, a drink. A go-to food. I'll go food. You got to do sazes. You can't mess around with sazes, mozzarella sticks, and uh, the funnel cakes, man. Or the donuts. Funnel cakes or donuts. Go-to. You can't go wrong with those two no, com combination, no. funnel cakes no, and donuts. No. And third question of all, what's one piece of advice you could give everybody who's coming to Milwaukee and coming to Summerfest this year? Enjoy yourself first and foremost, but take care of yourself and take care of your friends as well. Look out for everybody. Make sure you're good. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the good time. Enjoy the atmosphere. And enjoy everything that this lovely city has to offer. You know what I mean, man? You know what yes. I mean. Yes. Yes. You know I mean. <laughs> and the third question, this is our sequel question, right. but it's the most important one. What's one piece of advice that you could give out to the world that they never heard of, whether it's personal or just out there? You know what? We'll go real sentimental here real quick. Everyone's on their own timeline. So if you haven't achieved what you want for yourself yet, just relax. Take it slow. You'll get there. You work at it, and it'll come true. You just take it slow. Do it for yourself, man. Everybody's on their own timeline. You'll get where you want to be. That's beautiful. I love it. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank it. you. You have a lovely day, and let your angels always guide you. We got two lovely people here. Hi. What's your name? Oh, Kaylin. Sydney. Nice to meet you, too. We just got three questions for Summerfest. First one, what do you recommend that everybody needs to experience when they first come to Milwaukee and go to Summerfest? Oh, man. You just need to come. It's like $26 to see anybody you want, mostly, or anybody on the and lineup the food that is night. great. Food and they've is got great. the little ski Fives lift. high. Yeah. There's not all of it. There's really, complain. like, you, you got to just go. Yeah. And that leads to the second question. What is your go-to food when you come to Summerfest that you recommend everybody to try? And if not, what about a drink? Oh, turkey leg? This is tough. You know, honestly, I haven't been to Summerfest that many times, but like last time I had a walking walking nachos or whatever. Those are fire. So all right, we got turkey leg and nachos. I love it. That's the two I haven't heard today. I have two lovely ladies here. My name is Colette. And I'm Courtney. It's an awesome day out here. It's very hot, but not too hot, at least for me. So we got three questions, of course, for Summerfest. Please let the world know what they need to know so they could come out here and experience Summerfest, especially next year. All right. First question, what is one thing that you want to offer to anybody that as soon as they come to Summerfest, how should they take their experience here? Don't take it for granted. <laughs> when you said what's something you want to offer someone, I thought that meant physical. I'd say you get a beer as soon as you come in. Oh. A beer. A beer is the way to go. I think so Summerfest is great. I think the fact that you can see so many artists at one time for such a cheap price. I mean, admission was free for us. Yeah, I don't know how much admission is. Probably like 20 bucks. You can see so many good artists. We're seeing like three the next two days. So. Okay. What is the top artist that you two want to see? Just Zach Bryan. Whoa. Zach Bryan. We wanted to see Zach Bryan, but unfortunately we did not get tickets in time. So. But we're going to sneak in. Let's not reveal our secrets. We're not sneaking in. We're not sneaking in. Do not break any Summerfest rules or laws that's unacceptable per the federal law. So do not do that. Of course. And second of them, most important of all, what's one food that you want to go to, especially for yourself? If somebody was coming here at Summerfest, you would recommend to it. Absolutely. Pretzel bites or cheese curds. Deep fried freaking Oreos, brother. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And the third most important question that we have to end it on top of it all, what's one advice that you could give to the world that everybody should accept or at least do without any fear or any hesitation? It's kind of a long question. I would say just like say yes. Say yes to anything. Like when your friends ask you to go out, when people give you different opportunities, just say yes, no fear, no question. Say yes, do it all, try it all. Just do it. You'll never regret it. Bro, just do it, like Nike. <laughs> what? All right, we love to hear that. We're all good, my name is Saint. We have the two lovely ladies here. Colette. <laughs> <laughs>